Hello, welcome to Salmon Fury Book Reviews. As usual, I'm Tina. Today it's my, what month is it? August wrap up and <laughs> September what's up where I go through what I read in August and what I'm going to read in September. I clearly don't know what's going on. So that's fine. I'm, I'm okay. So last night, <laughs> because I always kind of talk about myself in these, in these wrap ups, um, cause that's what you're here for when you hear about me, not about books, right? Uh, so last night my dog was up all night just like whining and whining. I had to keep letting him outside because we bought him this new food because his normal food wasn't at the store. And then he also has been eating my tomatoes. So he's got like this terrible stomach ache and he's just like whining all night. He kept us up like all night. And then I got a new phone. It's got a really cool case. No, they don't talk about, I'm not gonna talk about the phone itself, but the case is really cool. Isn't that case beautiful? So I got it from this company called Pella and I'm in Canada. So if you're in Canada, check these out. They're compostable. So when this thing breaks down, you just put it in your compost and it just breaks down over time as opposed to being a plastic hunk of junk that'll like haunt the oceans for like 2000 years. So I was really excited more about the case than the phone. I needed a phone because my old phone literally had a huge crack in it. Um, and it was also an S10. So it's quite old. <laughs> it was starting to get like full and like apps like wouldn't run on it because I didn't have enough space, that kind of stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll upgrade. Uh, but like my mobile wasn't working this morning. And then because of that, I couldn't access it like barcode to get my kid into like camp. And so like, I tried to back up and some lady was beeping at me and I like, scratched my van on some rocks and I'm just like, I'm having a morning. I'm having a real morning. Anyway. So the books that I read, I read, uh, eight books in August. Again, I can't remember what month we're in. Um, so I'm going to go through them in the ranked order, tell you what they're about and what I kind of thought about them. Of course you can find my full reviews in my channel and then I'm going to talk about what I'm reading next month. So, um, a book that I thought was fine, but I wasn't super into was Netherford Hall. I think I gave this book like three stars. It is a Pride and Prejudice fantasy LGBTQ plus, uh, adaptation. The problem for me was that it was, it, too much was going on. There was too much, too much trying to make it be Pride and Prejudice, but then it wasn't Pride and Prejudice enough. And I just, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. Same with Alien Clay. I reviewed that the other day and I just, there wasn't enough kind of alien exploration for me. I'm not super fond of aliens when they're like, just like plants. Like I don't care about plants. Like I love plants. I love the plants I have. I love my garden. But when it comes to aliens, I want like aliens you can talk to. <laughs> and also I didn't, I don't know the characters I was ambivalent to. So yeah. Uh, then the, the rest of these are all kind of, except for the last one are all kind of they're all great. I'm just kind of threw them in a random order. Uh, so there's Doppelganger Gambit, which was a classic sci-fi that I really, really liked. That one was so fun. Uh, it was like a buddy cop book, murder mystery thing. It was really good. Goodbye to the Sun. This one was a political sci-fi, very serious, but very elegantly written. I really enjoyed it. Uh, there's two others in like the trilogy that I'm reviewing later on one next month and one the month after. Uh, she Who Knows, which is a prequel to another book by the same author. I thought this was just fantastic. It was so immersive and so interesting and the world building was fascinating. Because it was a novella, I just felt like it could have actually been a full book. So I didn't like love it for that. Uh, the Gin Waits, 100 Years, very, very slow to start. But at the end, I was just like very immersed in it. I really, I really love the historical fiction aspects of it. It makes me want to read more historical fiction. Um, and it's only very kind of like sad and melancholy. It had a really good like tone to it. And then we have The Last Shield, which is my favorite book of the month. That one is the diehard fantasy book <laughs> about a uh, this woman. She is the captain of the guard. Her uh, lover, or want-to-be lover, is, uh, you know, taken hostage along with some other people in the castle by these brigands. It's basically diehard. They want to break into a vault. She has to kill everyone. She saved the day. And it is so much fun. <laughs> so if you love fantasy, like specifically like sword and sorcery action fantasy, you will really like it. If you love Die Hard, you'll probably really like it. If you like strong, badass female characters, you totally like it. <laughs> so yeah, highly recommend it. And um, yeah. So next month I am reading Where I End, which is a book that actually came out a few years ago. It won the Shirley Jackson Award, I think. And so it was on Neck Alley. So I was like, okay, I will tell you, I have read it already because I'm going to be reviewing it next week. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. The book is messed up. It's so messed up. I will tell you all about it uh, next week. <laughs> it's wild. It's about a woman living on an island with her decrepit mother. Um, 
that, that's just a start. The next one is The Ravening by Daniel Church. I really love Daniel's The Hollows. I read that a couple years ago, which was kind of like a folk horror set in like a small town in like the UK during a snowstorm. It was really, really good. Uh, the Ravening is about, I'm trying to remember, it's about this woman, I guess, whose mother died when she was a teenager in like a weird, horrific way. And so now she's an adult and something is, something is happening to her. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, then we have Devils Kills Devils. I have no clue what this is. I remember, I remember requesting it months back and thinking this sounds really cool. Uh, don't ask me now what it's about. I, I really don't know. Uh, and then we have Clever Girl, which is probably the one that I was excited to read, actually, because it's a book about Jurassic Park. It's a feminist Jurassic Park book, and I am so excited. As you know, I have the Foley editions. You, I can't point. Um, up here. And also, Jurassic Park is my favorite movie of all time, so I'm very, very excited about this. <laughs> uh, we have The Sky Bled, which I think is a fantasy. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, it sounds cool. At least from what I remember, it sounded cool. Uh, we have Jotty's Waver, wait, Waver, Wager, the second book of Jonathan Nevers one. Uh, what's the name of the trilogy? I don't know. Windtide. I should remember that. So this is the book that I reviewed. Um, I read, reviewed this one the other day. This is part two. I'm going to be reading that. And I'm sure it will be awesome. And then I'm going to be reviewing Orbital, which is a novella. Um, I was listening, I'm listening to that one on Audible right now, and it's about some astronauts doing one, so the book, the novella takes place over one day, it's following six astronauts as they're going, as they're going around the planet, and it's kind of like a contemplative kind of literary fiction about, like, Earth and how lovely Earth is. I'm going to be reading an old school science fiction, a classic sci-fi, I don't know which one yet, I have a stack, so, <clears throat> I didn't talk about this, but when I went to the cottage last month, I went to a used bookstore, and I got some sweet books, I'm not going to do my whole um haul thing here but i got sword woman by the author of conan which looks awesome maybe i'll read that i got the fisherman's curse which i probably won't read this one i got deadly silence there's also this lee keelow so i'm not gonna read that because i just read one by her i got a first edition andre norton year of the unicorn this thing was like 15 bucks but so i might actually read this one because it's it's i don't know it's super cool looking um it's about oh it's kind of like a okay it's kind of like a hunger gamesy thing where they have to like fight in an arena sounds cool this one looks weird next of kin look at this guy what's he doing this one seems strange and then there's the gentle giants of ganymede um yeah so i got these ones at a used bookstore so maybe i'll pick one of those or i'll pick one of my 500 i haven't read yet so i don't know and then I have a space on my calendar to read a mystery book. A mystery book meaning a book that I, you know, and a mood read, a mood read book. Uh, I have a whole bunch of ebooks that I buy on BookBub for like a dollar because they sound interesting to me. And I never read them because <laughs> I have so many neck alley things to read and so many like interstellar book club books, things like that. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll pick one of those. We'll see. I am planning on doing a no neck galley November, which is where I'm just going to mood read all of November. I'm not going to do any, um, any not going to give anyone any free press. <laughs> now, there is a book for the Interstellar Book Club. I don't think it's been announced yet. We are picking between, I'm like looking on my Discord, we're picking between the Tesla's Extinction, the Hades Calculus, Terraformers, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing, and Ghost Station. I'm really hoping it's not Ghost Station because I really, really did not like um, the first one. What one? What was it called? All, my, all I have in my head now is Ghost Station, but it's like the one, I don't know. I'll, I'll post the picture here. You know what I'm talking about. I really hope it's Terraformers because that's been on my TBR for quite a while. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that was my month. I've had a very kind of wild month here, very busy at work. Uh, yeah, so catch you later. <laughs>